All right, guys. So uh, Cal is here. He's gonna be helping me do one of the two things that we're gonna be doing to the um, well, to the, for the coupe today. So um, we are gonna be doing the steering wheel today. So um, I'll show you guys the steering wheel we're gonna use right now. And uh, we are gonna be taking a lot of stuff. Sorry about the squeak. We are gonna be taking a lot of stuff from the hatch. We are gonna be stealing this hub, which is the um, the short hub from NRG. And uh, we're hopefully gonna have a, a button to use as well for the horn. That way we don't um, get rid of our horn because um, it's needed. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna get our steering wheel, which we have the Momo steering wheel. You guys saw that before. If you guys don't um, or didn't. I have a mess in here. So this is the steering wheel that we were using before. This is a Momo steering wheel here. And this is the Monte Carlo. This is going to be used for the hatch. I'm not going to get rid of that one. I love that thing. But we are going to get rid of the hub on that and use it for the um, for the coupe. So coupe is going to be driving for a little while. Hatch is not. So why not throw it on the coupe for now? But yeah, we're going to steal this one off real quick and uh, go throw it onto the coupe. Let's go. All right, so first thing, first thing that we need is going to be a uh, Allen wrench that fits this right here. So we got that one right there. Next, we're gonna need a, uh, whatever this is called, a socket that fits. Lastly, we're gonna need ratchet. Get that to fit. Okay, so it's kinda hard to do with one hand, but okay, that one's loosened. Okay, so these things tend to get stuck. Don't mind my fat ass thumb. I don't know what's wrong with it. That's how I was born. <laughs> Fun fact. I got that butt plug right there though. <laughs> All right, now to get this bolt out, we need a 19 mil right here. All right, so we're able to break it loose. All right, so now I should be able to take this off by hand. There we go, it's off. Now, let me pull it off actually, just like so. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, disconnect uh, this battery cable right here. Negative, of course. Now we don't get no power going to the airbag. Set that in there just like so. All right, now we're good to go. All right, to get the steering wheel off, like I said, uh, disconnect the battery. Then you have uh, one bolt right here that you got to take out. And that was a, um, where's the fucking... That was a T30. Um, next one we're gonna take out is another T30, which is in here. You guys can see, I'm gonna take that one out and that'll release the airbag. Once we get the airbag out, um, I'll show you guys what's next, so. All right, now this thing pops off just like so and I already disconnected it so we're good set that aside all right guys and so um reason we are taking off this big ass steering wheel is not just only because it's big but check this out look at this I could flip this whole thing around like this thing is so flimsy so ugly and then it has this big ass bulk it's just like a mess so um let's get this thing off what's out set that aside now, this thing will pop off, but let me see. This, hold on to. So, there we go. Damn, the steering wheel is completely off. Check that out. Completely off. Now, that's, that's gone. We don't need that ugly thing no more. Now we gotta get this piece off right here. And how do we get this off? I forgot, actually. Give me a minute to figure this thing out. I forgot. All right, guys. So, um, figured it out. 
All I had to do was remove the um, top cover or the bottom cover and the top cover here of the steering column. Now we got three screws, I think. So there's one, set that aside. Got our second one here. Remember to save your bolts or screws. And then we got a third one right here. All right, save that. Now this thing should pop off, just like so. And then all you gotta do is disconnect it from the bottom. I'll do that in just a minute. But that's how you remove a steering wheel. Super, super, super simple. Now, let's show you guys the steering wheel that we got. Check this out. Yes, sir. So this is the steering wheel we have. I know it's a lot beat up, but it looks better than the other one. This one's easier to clean and uh, it looks a lot better. We'll polish this one up as well, but um, we're gonna get the hub mounted on this one and on here as well. And now we could just slide this thing in. Okay, that's good right there. Now we'll just wrap everything inside of the, uh, or the harness inside of the uh, piece right here, which is gonna be kind of tough. All right, just like so, and then we're good to go. So um, I'm gonna get to uh, tightening this thing up. Once we're done tightening everything up, we'll get the uh, quick release onto the steering wheel and we should be done. Super, super dope, guys, I'm ready. All right, guys, so just as a reference, this is what it's gonna look like. Um, pull off the steering wheel, sauce, you know, crisscross applesauce, but we are gonna get that one in because um, I don't really care about this car and I do care about the other car a lot, the hatch, that's my baby. So um, we're gonna remove the steering wheel or the uh, quick release from the steering wheel and uh, throw it on this one. But just want to give you guys a reference of what it looked like. So I'm going to do this on my own, show you guys the end result. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so there it is. All I got to do is find the uh, steering wheel's uh, original horn and we'll, we'll be set. Um, I got to polish this thing up, but it's already beat up anyway, but it's super, super better than the other one. So I'm happy with it. It looks cool. What do you think, Cal? Okay. Yeah, we could sand it down from Pinto. Huh? Yeah. So, it looks way better than the other one, at least. So, I'm happy with that. Um, result are way better than the ugly old steering wheel that it had. So, I'm super, super stoked on that. And then right here on the couch, we do have um, floor mats. If you guys remember, we had uh, these floor mats in the hatch. And uh, we're going to be using them for the EJ2. Now, the only issue with these is that they say um, EG instead of EJ. But... I don't give a fuck, you know? So we're going to throw these in real quick, and then we're going to get to the last thing for the day, and we'll wrap it up there. But um, let's go throw these in real fast, and uh, we'll get to that last piece of the puzzle. All right, so we'll go ahead and throw the back one in first. So I only have three of these, actually. So um, the other side is not going to have one, but I'm not really, like, too sad about or mad about that. It's whatever. So we're going to move this forward. This one is the passenger side right here. Get this installed real quick. And these are a little bit dirty, but um, we're gonna vacuum the car again as soon as we get a chance. But like these fit the, the EGs, the EJ1s, EJ2s, and they fit the hatches as well. So they fit the coupes and the hatches as well. They fit exactly the same. The carpet's the same. The whole front end is the same up to here. So this is where it stops and then it's a little bit different towards the back. But yeah, these fit perfectly. They look really, really good. This reminds me of my old cockpit. So um, the hatch used to have almost identical to this right here. And it had like the quick release as well. You guys saw the quick release yesterday. We got that done. Looks really, really nice. Um, steering wheel has to be sanded and painted again. Um, we'll choose a good color for it. Um, probably black or something. I'm not sure. But um, we will be painting the spokes as well because I don't like them uh, polished anymore. We're going to do a lot to this car, guys. So um, keep staying tuned. So you guys see there, thing fits perfectly in here. That's what it's looking like, guys. So if I can find the other carpet, I'll throw it in. But for right now, I don't know exactly where it's at. But regardless, this thing is looking super minty now. Um, let's keep transforming this thing, making it look a lot better. Let's get to that next install. All right, if you don't know, um, I did have this set up here in my hatch along with the uh, shift knob over there that fell off on me. Um, 
This is the setup we ran in the hash. This was on our B-Series uh, shifter. It was so, so legit, guys. I loved it. Um, I had used a bunch of different shifters, and this is my favorite by far. So um, K2 makes some good products. I loved it. I had no issues with it. I loved the setup. I loved the feel. I loved the throw. So um, I'm going to get this installed into the uh, coupe real quick. Let's just get this uh, removed real quick. So the way we do this is really, really simple. You have a flathead right here. Pull this up. Damn, look how gunky that thing was in there. I'm gonna have to get some cleaner in there. This thing is disgusting. Look at that. So I'm gonna have to get that cleaned up around here as well because it's fucking filthy. You got two Phillips screwdrivers there, heads, and then you got two more, one here, one there. Got a screwdriver here. We're gonna take off the two from the front from the cup holder. So we got one right here. All right, so we got the two up there out. Now it's this turn here. We'll just pull up on this just like so, and she is out. Now, damn, look how dirty this thing was. And I left the vacuum back at the pad. Son of a gun. So um, we already did undid these screws here up front as well. We have a, the two screws right here. And now let's remove this real quick. And uh, this thing pries right up. Just like that. Set that aside as well. All right, so far we got the other old shifter out. We got the assembly right here. We got to assemble the new one. And we'll be we'll be ready to go so this is the new one that's the old one you guys can see right here um the difference but with the other stem on with the shifter actual shifter on it gives us a lot of height so um that's what i like about it all right so we pretty much got the whole assembly connected um we got our rod here we got our bolt through the uh shifter assembly through the uh, rod right here and uh this is connected already it's already tightened up now we just got to tighten up this real quick shove it up into the hole and then we can tighten everything up. Put these two bolts in right here that go right up in there. One, two. And uh, we'll be good to go assemble the top. All right, so the bottom is completely done. Now all we gotta do is go to the top, assemble the shifter, and we're good to go. All right, so both of the boots are on already. We got the shifter rod up here, ready to go. Now we just gotta um, install our shift boot. Oh, there it is. So now we just got to um, bolt this in. All right, now this piece here. Oh, shit. Let's not forget our screwdriver in there. Slide this over just like so. Now we're in. Now we just got to align this bitch right here. Last but not least. And we're good to go, baby. <laughs> Shifter assembly is complete. Look how good this interior looks now. Thing looks so much better. This car is like transforming so fast. Look at that. Looks so good. We got the red floor mats. We got the steering wheel. Let's throw on the steering wheel. Look at that. Tell me that don't look super, super good. I'm digging it. One, two, three, four, and five. Reverse don't like to go in. There it is. But overall, super, super excited. I can't wait to start driving with it. But um, look at that. I know I keep telling you about I love that shifter in the hatch, but we're going K, so um, this is, I guess God works in mysterious ways, guys. I guess he wanted me to keep the shifter for this car, and uh, it's working out for me, so I'm, I'm super, super excited. Um, we're going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you liked how it's turning out so far, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.